having breakfast this morning. I've ordered a mega, which is pretty much two of everything. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Cost me 10 quid, including a can of Coke. Which could be interesting. Let's check this place out. Before I get into this video, I'd just like to say I'm not going to name this particular restaurant because this video is not about name and shame or trying to lose the restaurant, any customers or business. It's basically about I don't like being overcharged for what I consider to be a very low quality breakfast. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I consider to be a very low quality breakfast and then I'm going to show you what I consider to be a well-priced good breakfast a few moments later to be fair the breakfast arrived quite quick and on first impressions looked pretty good but on further inspection hmm there's a lot to be said about this the baked beans cold and to me baked beans should be piping hot the sausages they're what I consider to be default sausages, which basically means very cheap, very low quality sausages. And they're just using them to replace what could be a good, so I'd rather have one really good sausage than two really shite sausages. And uh, all they're trying to do is pull the wool over a customer's eyes uh, and try and get away with serving a cheap, horrible sausage. Next thing, the bacon. The bacon was definitely reheated. And to be honest with you, it was that raw a good doctor could actually have brought the animal back to life again. Yeah, unedible. Then we go on to the tomatoes. Sliced tomatoes, great on a salad, but please, not on a full English breakfast, not grilled sliced tomatoes on a full English breakfast. It's just a big no-no. Well, for me anyway. Then onto the eggs. Now, one thing I can gladly say is that the fried eggs were actually warm, hot, because I asked for them well done. So yeah, that gave them a chance to heat them up a little bit better. So thank God something was warm anyway, because the rest of the breakfast was freezing cold. They wanted to charge me £10 for that breakfast, and I'm really sorry, but that's not the way I want to start my day. So I decided to leave gracefully and head off and try and find another restaurant where I could actually have a decent breakfast. Well, I've decided to stop off at the Duke Beach restaurant for breakfast, our first proper meal on this fantastic island. Magaluf, look at that, absolutely stunning. Clear blue water, sandy beaches. I wouldn't say white sandy beaches, but pretty damn close. Stunning views. Might have a swim out to that little island over there later on.
So I've chosen the English breakfast, 575. It's good enough for me. I didn't. Got breakfast at the Duke's Beach. Looking forward to tucking into this one. At last, a half decent breakfast. The beans are hot, the bacon's cooked, the sausages are better quality, and at £5.75, happy days. Thank you.